So here I am at Walmart instead of the um, Asian market to try to get ingredients to cook a very special Thai meal. I'm debating if I want to get this broccoli here or if maybe I'll go to Thrifty down the street. Maybe I'll go to Thrifty to get fresh stuff. Maybe I'll do that today. Yeah, it's down the street or Aldi's. So let's skip on the, um, the produce here from Walmart and we'll go ahead and get items from Thrifty or Aldi, probably Thrifty. But they had the broccoli here. It's like two forty four, which I don't really spend for this. And then a twenty eighty eight for one of those. Which is enough for one meal, but I don't want to spend that much money. So we're gonna hold off on this. Alright, so here we are at Walmart instead of the Asian market. <laughs> to try to cook a Thai dish. I'm gonna to try to make um, Thai Radna, Dinoy style, which means I'm just making stuff up. <laughs> I came by here to see if I can buy ingredients to make an Asian dish, a Thai dish, from Walmart without going to the Asian market. Since some of the viewers out there may not have access to Asian market, supermarket, uh, one of the ingredients is uh, some kind of peppers, which we could get the what are these called? The um, there's, there's so many different types of peppers here. I didn't even know there were so many. You got banana peppers. You got um, what's this stuff called? Pepperoncini peppers. You have um, hot chili peppers, and you also have jalapeno peppers. Which I think I'm going to go with the jalapenos, uh, just because. <laughs> I do like jalapenos for this dish as well as something else. So we got one item. Let's see if we can't find the others. All right. So they do have some Asian stuff. And they um, package it specifically for the Asian section here at Walmart. And it'd be easy to grab one of these. But I'm going to try it differently. Although this, this is uh, rice noodles is pretty good. What I'm looking is for this uh, thick, flat, white noodle, which is like a white noodle. I mean, a, a white, yeah, noodles, which they apparently don't have here because I'm looking for Asian stuff in Walmart. But let's see if we can't find a suitable replacement. I'm going to try to find another type of noodle that I'm going to use for the um, Thai Ratna using American ingredients. Or not so much American ingredients as ingredients I can find at Walmart. I may have to go with this, but I don't know. I don't think Radna would be the same with um, these noodles versus the big flat noodles. I think my mom normally makes this without chicken broth, but I'm thinking of uh, getting the chicken broth just to give it a little bit more flavor. Dollar thirty-eight. I could probably use this for several different things. I think you have Swanson over there, and you have the Great Value. It's Great Value chicken broth. Swanson's is um, almost twice as much. Let's go with the Great Value chicken broth and see if we can't um, use this to make the. The gravy that we're going to be using for the pot thai, the, not pot thai, the um, the radna meal that we're going to make, radna noodles. I just need to find noodles. All right, this is totally the wrong kind of noodles, but I think I'm going to go with these bow ties. These are like Walmart bow ties. They're only a dollar. Normally, you make a dish like this using um, rice noodles. These are made from wheat, so it's already going to taste different, but I'm curious as to how it will turn out, so I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. Although I have the cheap Walmart soy sauce, I think I want real soy sauce for this. The only problem is all they have is this big one. What happened to the little one? They don't have any of the little ones, the Kikoman. They don't have the little Kikoman ones the heck? Of course, I use so much soy sauce. I think I'll go ahead and splurge and get this big one. Even though, honestly, this is way overkill. 
wanted a small one. I guess we'll go ahead and go with it though. Because I will use the soy sauce. I do use a lot of soy sauce, so I'll go ahead and use that. You know what? Since I am trying to cut back on using so much soy. Ah, oh, wait, they had the Kikoman um, low sodium. But low sodium just means like I can dilute it with more water. I don't know if I want to get the low sodium or not. I also have Kikoman, the small container here, which would be enough, but that's so small. Or we can go with a Choi or the cheapy Walmart one. You know what? Since um, we're already not even using real ingredients. <laughs> Come on, man. We're making... Um, we're making... What is it? Um, Radna using bow ties. So I'm going to use this cheapo great value soy sauce. The reason I'm not using the, the Dollar Tree soy sauce is even though I use it to cook the rice and stuff, I don't think it tastes as good as um, Kikoman. But I'm wondering if the uh, Walmart might actually be Kikoman. Sometimes they, um, they brand things, you know, they, they actually make it for multiple brands and they might change the ingredients just a little bit. But for the most part, it may still taste the same. So I think we've got most of the ingredients. For the meat in the dish, you can use chicken, shrimp, pork, or beef. Personally, I like beef, but beef is like very expensive nowadays. So I'm gonna try to go with the pork, and I don't really need that much. So I'm just looking for a small thing of pork. Four, three, forty-four for that. I do like the um, these guys. So maybe I'll just go with this and slice this up for the pork. These are my choices. I didn't get here in the morning to get the discounted one, so we're gonna go with these. These are actually very expensive. Could get some on, on sale here, but I think we'll just go with this and slice these up into little bite-sized pieces that I'll be using for the, um, I know, I'm looking at these. Maybe it's going to be better to get um, a bigger one here with more meat and use this stuff, 488. Because it's cheaper, it's um, 324 versus the other one. And these are only 306. You know what? I'm just going to make one quick meal here for the episode. So we'll go ahead and go with this. I think I can make two meals out of that. Um, we're going to make the. Thai, the noise messed up Thai Radna meal and have something else to cook later. Ideally, you get fresh, fresh veggies, but for today, because I'm low on stir fry stuff, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this one with the uh, frozen broccoli florets is what I want. What I want is broccoli, but it's got all these others as extra. So what I'm gonna do is get one that I can see a lot of broccoli in. It looks still kind of fresh. So we're gonna use this because I can use it for my radna, and then I'll have leftover veggies that I can um, use for stir fry and other dishes later. I don't know if you can see why I um, skipped uh, using meat, using beef. Uh, beef is very, very expensive. So almost like twice as expensive almost two and a half times as expensive as the, um, although I could have used this. This is so small, but it's still $7 per pound. That's crazy. The only other thing that I'm missing really is some kind of thickening agent to make the sauce. Uh, I think my mom uses plain old um, flour, but at the house, I'm not sure if I, I don't know if I have, um, I have something there that supposedly makes things thicken up that I used in a previous sauce that worked pretty well. So I'm going to try that. I'll point it out when we get to the house.